It is a happy, happy Friday. Uh, I'm wondering if you guys have uh, weekend plans. It certainly is quite cold, but even then, it's nice to tour the city. Today, we're going to take a look at a place that is a little bit colder as it is further up north. 오늘 소개해드릴 장소는 바로 비무장지대입니다. Uh, it's the uh, DMZ, the infamous DMZ. I wonder if a lot of our Korean listeners have actually been, because it certainly is a very tourist, uh, not trap, but it's, a, it's part of the tour course, I would say. Many foreigners, including myself, when you first come to Korea, the first place that you want to go is the DMZ. 여러분들은 가셨는지, if you've gone on field trips or just even by yourself, it's 궁금합니다. 이제 지구상에서 가장 무서운 곳이라고도 하죠. 과거 미국 대통령 빌 클린턴이 한국에 DMZ를 방문했을 때한 말인데요. Bill Clinton called it the scariest place on earth when he visited Korea. Back in 1950, 1950년 발생한 한국 전쟁 이후 1953년 체결된 정전 협정에 따라서 설정된 비무장지대죠. 이제 흔히 DMZ라고 하는 것은 Demilitarized Zone의 약자에서 가져온 거죠. Established following the Korean War in 1950 and the Armistice Agreement three years after in 1953. Um, if you guys didn't know, it is the abbreviation for Demilitarized Zone, otherwise known as DMZ. 이제 사실 비무장지대라는 개념 자체는 한국만에 있는 것도 아니에요. 두개 이상의 나라가 서로 협약에 의해서 군사 활동을 금지하는 곳은 모두 비무장지대가 될 수도 있는데 다른 말로는 이제 중립지대라고도 부르죠. 한반도의 DMZ뿐만 아니라 남극 또한 비무장지대입니다. 하지만 한국인들에게는 역시 DMZ 하면은 남한과 북한을 가르는 어, 가르는 이 지역이 생각날 수밖에 없죠. 사실 그죠? The concept of a demilitarized zone is not really exclusive to Korea only. It's basically any area where two or more nations agree to prohibit military activities can be considered a DMZ, also referred to as a neutral zone. While the DMZ on the Korean peninsula is still well known, uh, Antarctica is also a demilitarized zone. Didn't know that. But for Koreans, the DMZ typically brings to mind the area dividing the North and South Korea. 1950년 6월 25일 발발한 3년간의 한국 전쟁 이후 3년 뒤죠. 1953년 7월 27일에 전쟁을 멈추자는 정전 협정이 체결되었죠. 그리고 임진강에서 동해안까지 총 1,292개의 말 을 받고 이 말뚝을 이은 약 240km의 가상의 선, 군사 붕괴선, 다른 말로는 MDL이라고도 설정을 하였죠. So the Korean War, which began on June 25th, Yu-Gi-Oh! 1950, led to an armistice agreement signed on July 27th, 1953. three years later, halting the conflict. So this resulted in the establishment of the uh, military demarcation line, a virtual line created by placing 100, uh, excuse me, 1,292 stakes from the Imjin River to the East Sea, spanning about 250 kilometers, if you're taking a look at the photo as well. So, 이 MDL로부터 남북으로 각 2km 범위를 완충지대, 로 설정해 비무장지대라고 삼게 됩니다. So adjacent to this MDL, a two-kilometer buffer zone on each side was designated as the DMZ, as we know today. 이제 이 비무장지대는 군사적인 충돌을 막는 완충제의 역할을 하는 곳이기 때문에 어떠한 군사적인 행위도 어, 금지되어 있고요. 이곳에 들어가기 위해서는 이 지역의 안전을 담당하는 군사정전위원회의 허가를 받아야 되고요. 무기는 뭐 당연하게 들어갈 수 없게 되었죠. 입장할 수 있는 인원수도 제한되고 있습니다. 
Now, the DMZ's role is to act as a buffer to prevent military clashes. So, therefore, any military activity is strictly prohibited within this zone. And to gain access to this area, you have to obtain permission from the military armistice commission responsible for overseeing its safety. And even the number of people allowed entry is limited. And obviously carrying weapons is strictly prohibited, uh, uh, prohibited and forbidden <laughs> as well. But, I mean, don't worry. 걱정하지 마세요. 여행지를 소개시켜드리려고 하는데 갈수 없는 곳을 소개시켜드리면 안 되겠죠. <laughs> obviously, we wouldn't mention a place where uh, it's completely off limits uh, to visit. And so we'll take a look uh, a little more in detail as to what the DMZ has to offer after what, what, what if I never see you again. time to take a look at our travel of the week. We are taking a look at the DMZ. In Korean, we call it 비무장지대. Um, but of course, it's not a place that is completely off limits. We often go here on field trips or tour trips. Buses and buses loads of people often visit every day. 이제 민간인 또한 신청하면 DMZ에 들어갈 수 사실 있답니다. I've been there as well. It's quite an interesting area. Civilians can apply to enter the DMZ, but only in certain authorized areas like 판문점 or the DMZ Peace Trail. 이제 국가에서 신청을 하면은 이런 데갈수 있지만 이제 아무래도 아직까지는 군사적으로 민감한 장소라 이 정도는 감안해야 하겠죠. Um, obviously, uh, due to its military sensitivity, access to the DMZ is understandably restricted. But I've been uh, able to go to the JSA, the Joint Security Area as well. It's quite an incredible sight to see. Looking straight at the border, the, 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 the soldiers, the, the buildings of North Korea. It's very surreal, but... In any case, DMZ는 어, 대부분이 어떠한 접근도 허용하지 않는 곳이다 보니까 자연 상태가 아주 잘 보존되어 있다고 합니다. And you'll learn about this uh, on the tour, but because it's the most inaccessible place, or one of the most inaccessible places on Earth even, it's become one of the largest natural reserves in Asia. Uh, lots of well-preserved ecosystems. 아시아 최대의 자연 보호지역으로 주목받고 있을 정도인데요. 창국에서는 멸종되고 있다고 알려진 여러 동물들도 이 안에서는 발견되어 살아가고 있다는 보고도 계속해서 나오고 있답니다. Interesting to see. Uh, you know, several species reported that have been believed to be extinct in other parts of Korea are still found within the DMZ. So, 우리가 언젠가 자유롭게 DMZ로 오갈 수 있는 날은 언제일까 싶은 마음도 생기는데요. And the question still remains, when will we ever be free to travel around the DMZ? Difficult to say. 뭐 언제라고 답하기가 어렵지만 but I always thought whoever the leader is, the president is at the time must be very wise in being able to preserve uh, this area as well and, and show love and grace to um, all the people. But uh, in any case, if the Korean Peninsula ever sees reunification or if the North and South can coexist peacefully, perhaps access to the DMZ will be less restricted. 언젠가 한반도가 통일되거나 그게 아니더라도 남북한이 좋은 사이가 되어서 공존할 수 있는 시대가 열리게 된다면 DMZ 출입도 자유로워질 수 아닐까 싶은데요. 물론 세계에서 가장 많이 매설되어 있는 DMZ의 위험한 지뢰나 어, 불발탄을 모두 안전히 제거하고 개발하려면 가까운 시일 내에 우리가 자유롭게 방문할 수 있기는 어려워 보이는 게 현실적인 말이기도 하죠. You know, it's important to remember that still DMZ is one of the most heavily mined areas around the world. So the safe removal of these mines and explosives is necessary before it can be considered safe for public access 
in any case. But 그렇다고 해서 마냥 못갈 거라는 생각보다는 원래는 하나였던 나라에서 언젠가는 자유롭게 오갈 수 있는 그 날이 오기를 바라보아야 했어요. Despite these changes, many hold on to the hope of one day freely uh, traveling back and forth, and hopefully that uh, train track will also be uh, re-established, being able to travel and uh, be connected to all these different countries, to to Mongolia, to Russia, to China, all throughout uh, Korea. But in any case, we'll have to hope and pray for a peaceful transition for that time. We'll leave you guys with a quick song. Here's what, or excuse me, let's take a quick song break with Jem. Wish I.